Alright, what's happening everybody? I'm just another Irish guy and welcome back to another tutorial on how to install Minecraft mods. Today we're going to go with the most demanded and downloaded mod per month ever in Minecraft history, Tinker's Construct, as you can tell by the title, of course. But, Tinker's Construct is going to be installed into 1.10.2 yet again because all the latest mods are not up to date yet. So, here we go. So, I have the Google pages open. Links are in the description to Forge, Tinker's Construct, and you need to open, or you need to install Mantle with it. I don't know what Mantle is, but if you install just Forge and just Tinker's Construct, it asks you to install Mantle. So, I just kind of did it. So, let's do it. I'm going to show you how you do it. So first of all, you want to go to Google, you want to open Google Chrome, you want to click the link, or you or you already have Google open, I'm guessing, so yeah, you want to click the link, that's going to bring you right here, just bring it straight to Forge, hopefully, please don't make noise. Did you know you can make an extra $1,000 a day from your laptop at home? It, they always do it. Right, so this is going to download Forge. Once it's done, you will, uh, if you haven't seen how to install Forge or if you haven't installed Forge already, then you want to install it here now. That will install it, or that will download it. I already have it downloaded, so I don't know why I did that again. So I have my mods here. So there's Forge. To install Forge, actually, first of all, before we do any of that, I'm going to show you Minecraft Vanilla. So you just so you know that what I'm doing is right and it actually works. So camera start. Let's open it up. Should be in world 1.10.2. Hopefully. Single player. I created this world just to put in, you know, mods. So when we do test out mods, we don't have to go into Skyblock every time. Because I'll get distracted and I'll start playing Skyblock. But yeah, so this this is brand new generated world with creative mode so here we are no cape no nothing no optifine so i'm gonna save out of that i'm gonna show every show you that it works so you want to just double click forge run it and just click okay it already sets it up already done finished okay so so you can delete that you don't need that next you want to go windows and or and open percent app data percent. I'm gonna go straight into your dot Minecraft folder, create a folder called mods. That will not be there. That will not be in your folder. Just unless you created before, it will not be there. So create a folder called mods, lowercase m, and you'll be okay. So next, I want you to go into the description and click the link beside Tinker's Construct. That'll bring you right here. To another adfly page the reason i use adfly is it is kind of like a virus detecting site so although it does have ads it does do all that stuff it protects you from viruses because it does run a check as it's going through so while thinkers construct is downloading i want you to go into the third link in the description which will be to mantle so you want to go through there, obviously wait five seconds. And we want to keep Tinker's Construct. You have to make sure you keep it or it won't be in your download folder. You want to skip and then you want to download. You see, click this download button, click download, mantle, downloading, keep. And there you go. So in your download folder, you will have, you won't have all them, you will have just these three and you've already installed forge so forge is installed and um, if you want to see how you do it again you could just rewind the video or i'll do it right here you click install client okay and it's done that's it simple don't need to do it ever again so after that you want to go to the new folder that you made in your dot minecraft you want to open it up go to mods i already have it in here and um, 
along with Minecraft capes. But I'll show you just in case you don't believe me. There's the two newly downloaded folders, two newly downloaded .jar files. Drag them in there, replace files. I'll make a copy of them just for my own use. I'm gonna go into documents, I'm gonna make a Minecraft folder. Just This is just for me. Minecraft mods. I'm gonna go here. Da -da -da. Download, control C, control V. So there you go, that's just for future reference for myself. You don't have to do that, I just did it. So there you go, installed. If you want the Minecraft capes, I made a tutorial on that. Just go and check it out. Um, yeah, so we can close Google Chrome and just open Minecraft back up. It will create a folder or a save profile called Forge right there. If I click play, it'll download, it will update, all things like that. It's going to have this new loading screen, loading all the mods, and it will, uh, yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll see everything loading. So, there you go. Constructing mods. Obviously, the forge hammer in the bottom right, Tinker's Construct, as you can see. It is safe. They are checked jar files. I have checked them before. I checked them before every video. And then it just goes through everything, through all that stuff. And once it's done, it will open up and you'll see a little mods icon. When you click in that, it will show you every mod you have installed. Obviously for me, it will say the regular codec, Forge, Minecraft Forge, same thing, Mantle, the Minecraft Capes, and Tinker Construct. So there you go, I'm gonna open. 1.10.2 that's my world you can create whatever world you want don't worry about names I know all you people watching are probably like shut up noob you don't need to create the world name I know but if there's people watching that don't know how to play or how to install then that's why I'm saying it so as you can see we have my snazzy cape because I went to minecon no I, I didn't go to minecon and then we have Materials and you, if I think it's construct, you spawn in with this. So, um, there's all your tools. Yeah. So just to, just to prove to you that it works. Smeltery block. I'm just gonna get some sear bricks, right? I'm gonna get some sear bricks. I'm gonna get a drain. Smeltery controller, right? Where's my controller? No. Drain, good. Controller. Sear tank. Uh, what else do we need? We need a basin. And I need a bucket of lava. So, you will see how this works now. You make a 3x3 three three base. The, you make your outside whatever way you want you don't need corners of course you don't need corners so then you put your smeltery controller here you put your sear tank there Shit. Where was it? Where is it? oh right my game mode let me see uh, no, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna do all this first. Shit, sorry. I'm gonna build this up just to prove to you that it works, and that I'm not just conning you with some elaborate scheme. Right. So we need a faucet. We need to search for a faucet, and then in here you go. Throw in your lava. Okay, and then your smeltery drain goes here, or wherever you want, you can go wherever you want. Uh, you throw this in, you put this right here, and then, oh, I didn't know that, you can put two. So I'm gonna put two. Um, that's it, that's, once, once that's done, you can right click, you can expand your smeltery. Let's get some iron. We'll get some iron or, yeah, let's get some iron off. 
Alright, so see? So that took 27 iron. So as you build it up, like so, see that? Before it's melted. But as you build it up, you'll be able to take more and more iron. And when you have all this iron, or all this thing, oh no, don't do that, no, no, no. Then you can put in that took 45. So you just keep building it up, you can do whatever you want, and you'll see it all pop up here. And it will actually pop up inside as well. Uh, once that's done, you can just right click on these, and it will, uh, Pop them out in blocks, see? Six blocks. Shit, give me that. Sorry, making mistakes, stupid mistakes. Right click, faucet, faucet. So, there you go, you get six blocks out of that. That's six iron blocks. That's what? 54. Yeah, 54, 54 ingots. And then it hardens. That's pretty cool, I've never seen that transition before. It's normally just a straight. And that's done. But there you go. We are finished. Okay, are you done? Are you finished now? There you go. See? And as you can see, we're done. So you can actually, in this, I'm pretty sure there's a redstone clock. Oh, the clock's not here. No. No, there's no clock. Normally there's a clock. Maybe that's a different mod. You just sit it above and then it clicks the red zone every time. I might make a uh, video on how to do that. But other than that, that's pretty much it. That's as simple as it is to install a Minecraft Forge and Tinker's Construct. So hopefully you enjoyed it. If you found the video helpful, please hit that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. Um, Let's try and get five likes. Five, five likes. Five likes on my fifth video. How about that? So let's get that. Let's get that. Um, it really keeps me motivated to make videos. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be another tutorial. No, it won't. It will be Minecraft or Skyblock or Advanced Warfare or anything like that. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Okay.